What is up, guys? What is up? It is August 21st, 2019. It is officially the dog days of summer here in Florida. We're talking some tech. We're doing some tech news. We're going to break down some of the things that are going on, some things that are happening in the tech world. Uh, so without further ado, I hope you all are having a great week. Tomorrow's Thursday, one step closer to the weekend, and let's get right into it. So we got Apple news. We got Apple leaks. We got Apple uh, September 10th coming, new iPhone. We got, uh, so, you know, bigger screen maybe, bigger uh, bigger everything. I don't know. What point? What, what can phones do at this point? What more can phones do? What uh, do we want them to be cheaper, thinner, lighter, bezel-less? I mean, there's, you know... I mean, I got the, the Samsung Note 9. I mean, it's 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 huge, and I I mean, I don't have small hands. I mean, it's it's a big phone. So I mean, what more can our phones really do? And do we need them to do more? I don't know. Um, that's a question you guys can definitely put in the comments. Let me know what you think. I mean, this is still it's a thin phone. It's almost bezel-less, not quite. But I mean, we got this. That's the Note 9. So now we got the Note 10. We got the S10. We've got the Google Pixel 4 coming out. Do people really need to upgrade? That's a question. Probably, probably not. Uh, I would say, for the most part, unless you have a really old phone, most of these things are going to be incremental. You can stay with what you got. Spend your money on something else, uh, some other piece of tech, I would say. So we got uh, Google is apparently killing off Nest. That's another thing that's going to be happening. Um, it's kind of interesting, somewhat. Um, not really sure why, but uh, there's there's more to follow on that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else did I do? We just had a major uh, uh, situation going on with China. We got the uh, the Huawei ban, Google ban. Supposedly, we're going to have some uh, some information be leaked or. Uh, that they're going to get a 90-day extension. If you haven't been following the news, basically uh, the Chinese devices, Huawei, Oppo, OnePlus, they're getting a uh, reprieve on the technology ban. I'm not sure why my window is doing that, but that's okay. Hope uh, um, there's a lot, a lot going on in the tech world. But is it really to the average person who's not into tech? I mean, is it really a big thing? Is it really a big deal to you, regular people? Um, I want to know. I want to know what you guys think. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, what else is going on? So we've got uh, new. So Google Drive is adding some things. If you use Google Drive, they're adding file shortcuts. So uh, that's going to be rolled out to the commercial version, the G Suite, first, um, and to others later on. Um, we got foldable phones, right? We start, we have the Samsung. Phone. Uh, Huawei had a foldable phone, which they apparently delayed for a second time. Uh, it's called the the Huawei. I think it's Mate Pro, Mate X. So it's delaying its uh, foldable phone. Of course, Apple supposedly has filed a patent that may or may not have foldable tech in it. I don't know that phones are the right way to go with foldable. Uh, devices, maybe a tablet might be make more sense. So you, if you guys remember the Galaxy Fold breaking for many of the people that got the uh, rever review units, um, the Mate X was retailing for twenty six hundred dollars. If you're going to pay twenty six hundred dollars for a phone, uh, I'm not sure that's really worth it. You could for twenty six hundred dollars, you could buy a pretty pretty serious uh, television and have money left over for a gaming console. Probably a nice speaker set, nice set of headphones to go with it, and so on and so forth. So let's go out into uh, security news. So Facebook is rolling out a tool called the Off Facebook Activity Tool that lets users control data collected by websites. So essentially it's saying you'll be able to see a summary of the apps and websites that send Facebook information about their, your activity. So this is... What is it? Uh, this started out with uh, the Facebook Pixel and the Facebook Login. So this is probably uh, coming as a result of the Cambridge Analytica 
debacle, among other things. Let's see, what else is going on in the tech news? So, uh, so NordVPN, a popular VPN client, was uh, their website was cloned by hackers to deploy a banking Trojan. If you don't know, a Trojan is basically just a nasty piece of uh, code designed as to be a normal program, maybe a game, some kind of spreadsheet or document. So they cloned this uh, NordVPN website. Essentially, uh, I think it only happened in, uh, where did they say? It was only a certain part of the world. It wasn't, uh, uh, I, I know I read this somewhere. So yeah, so basically try to trick the users into stealing credentials and going to the website that anybody who actually checked the website would know. I think it said NordVPN.club, if I remember correctly. So you got to be careful about those links you click on. got to be really careful. All right, what else is going on in the world? Um, so Windows 10, this, this happened uh, last week. 800 million devices, critical vulnerability. So upgrade to Windows 10. If you're not already on Windows 10, uh, get on Windows 10 and make sure that you uh, are updating it. Most of the Windows 10 devices, I think, if you have automatic update, you're fairly protected. But if you have any of the old operating systems or server operating systems, you want to definitely uh, look into this right away. All right, what else? Um, so iOS 12.4 uh, got a jailbreak. So Apple accidentally unpatched an old flaw. So 12.4, what are they on? I think they're on beta 13 right now. So this jailbreak dubbed Uncover 3.5.0. It works with the updated iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches if people still are buying those. So you can now do your jailbreak for free. Uh, so it was released on GitHub. Let's see if it's still there. Yep, it's still there. If you're interested, I will send the uh, put the link in the the show notes or the description. Hope uh, hopefully that'll probably be patched fairly quickly. If you're an Apple person, if you're a uh, Android person, you probably don't care. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for the tech news for this week. I hope you guys got something out of it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me talk about. I'm going to try to do more videos uh, more regularly, try to break some of these things down. And uh, let's, let's have a discussion. Let's do a little dialogue. And as always, you guys stay classy. And we'll see you next time.